something that I... You see a lot of horses. These are just, just um, These are things that I think about as natural horsemanship that are natural to the horse. And I'm going to use them for me, not against me. One thing that I've come to believe is that if a horse starts in anxiety, in a state of anxiety, you, you're really wasting your time. Especially if you have a horse that gets upset easily. So, the first thing that happens that I see is we go to lead the horse. And the head went up. So I told you all about what I believe is that when the head goes up, there's a little adrenaline head flies up, there's a lot of adrenaline, okay? So we want them to start with a little bit of an endorphin fix. So that would be a head drop. Anytime his nose is in the middle of his chest, you're very apt to get braced. Not necessarily, but 99% of the time. So when I lead off, I want him to drop his head and follow. So now he's the beginning of following a field which is everything we want. We want them to understand how to move appropriately to and from pressure and follow the field. So I give him a heads up. He knows I'm going this way. If you watch his ears, you'll see where he's thinking. So I want him to think <coughs> I'll follow her. So I give him a heads up. <clears throat> I put a little feel. So by changing his weight, see that? I rewarded that, why? Because it was preparation to follow me. So in the beginning you might think, oh, geez. Remember I said to you a hundred times, imagine it like an old time movie, a frame at a time. That's a frame. Let's see what the next frame looks like. So I say, we're going this way. Maybe, he said. What is he thinking? Ah. So now I say, come on, sure. Did you notice his head dropped? Mm -hmm. So if you consciously do that every time, that becomes your habit, his habit. It's a it's licking and chewing. It's a mental thing. So that's what I love about uh, that Ross Jacobs, because it's all about what the horse is thinking. And he's the first one I've ever heard say that. So let's see if he'll think Good. this way. Yeah. Now stop. Get back. So one thing I stole from him. Nah. Just saying. <laughs> so we would like him to back with his head down. So I drop. I'm going for the shoulder. So he's been taught to back with his head up. We do it enough and then he'll start doing it with his head down. But there's other ways. I just fell in front of him and he ran over me. I hate when that happens. Right? I have to go back to physical therapy. <laughs> so the next thing, if you get a good backup and it's low, like that, now you can get a soft hind quarter disengage because I taught him when he feels this to drop his head when he feels that to drop his head and if a horse is not disengaging properly and he's coming forward you now say don't come forward Come, go back, and don't, don't come forward. So I don't want to pull on him. So one of the things that you might have to do, you don't want to do, is when you disengage, is pull on him. See how he stepped into me? Mm -hmm. So if you... Get in time with his feet, and then, see 
yell here. So, yes, sometimes you will pull. So you can't, whatever it is you're trying to do, and it's going south, stop it if you can. So you have to interrupt what you don't want and show them what you do want. So I want you to stop. I want you to think back. And then I want you to follow this field, but don't come forward. Wait until he crosses. Yes. And stop. <laughs> so, are you catch your horse, halt your horse, lead your horse. Leading being directing. So you don't have to correct. So, <clears throat> he's following my lead. Right? Let's try again. So this time I don't want to have to shh. Yeah. Done a nice job, mommy. Thanks. <laughs> you don't have that. You pretty much don't have anything. Shh. Amazing, you can blow on. Where's Judy when we need her? Yeah. <laughs>